これおはい召し上がれ。Kiss X Sis is a romantic comedy anime that tells the story of Keita Suminoi, a high school student who finds himself living with his two stepsisters, Ako and Riko, who are deeply in love with him. As the three siblings navigate their complicated feelings for each other, they encounter a number of comedic and risque situations, leading to a series of awkward and hilarious moments. Keita Suminoi is faced with a dilemma. His twin stepsisters, Ako and Riko, have been excessively amorous towards him, and his parents are away. Uncertain of what to do, Keita is at a loss. However, when his parents are unable to attend a parent teacher meeting, Akko and Riko discover the notice letter while rummaging through his belongings. In a fit of excitement, they rush over to his school but end up being pursued by a group of their admirers. Just when things seem to be getting out of hand, Keita intervenes and scolds his sisters for causing a commotion. Despite his initial frustration, Keita soon realizes the reason behind their visit and hurries to catch up with them. Apologizing for his behavior. He confesses that he had turned down an offer to attend another school and plans to study hard to gain acceptance into their high school. Akko takes it upon herself to assist Keita with his studies, hoping to enhance his chances of passing. Despite struggling to remain focused at times, they soldier on. To motivate Keita, Akko attempts to showcase her bosom, but this only results in Keita becoming distracted in class. Undeterred, Akko comes up with an innovative study strategy. Using her body as a canvas to jot down notes. While this does lead to some embarrassment in class, Kata's test scores improve significantly. Things take a turn when Kata equates a kiss from Akko to a penalty game, angering her. Akko confronts Kata and cunningly coaxes him into selecting the wrong answer so that he must endure the penalty kiss. Despite this setback, they continue to study diligently. Suddenly, their efforts are interrupted by Rico, who has been experimenting with cooking and prepares a snack for Kata. Unfortunately, the snack is revolting and indigestible. In the end, Kata manages to raise his grades, albeit slightly, and he expresses his gratitude towards Akko for her unwavering support. Meanwhile, Riko watches with envy as Akko basks in Kata's appreciation. Kata has grown increasingly frustrated with the constant kissing from Akko and Riko and decides to implement a total ban on smooches. One day, while overhearing that Kata has a sweet tooth, Riko decides to try her hand at making him some chocolate. Unfortunately, her attempt results in something truly horrific, but Rico is not one to give up easily. Determined to find a way to win Kata's affections, she gets a little creative. After stumbling upon one of her father's adult DVDs, she concocts a plan to use chocolate lipstick to lure Kata in. With a mischievous glint in her eye, Rico seductively applies the chocolate lipstick to her lips, urging Kata to come closer. Just as things start to heat up, their moment is rudely interrupted by none other than Akko. Undeterred, Rico presents Kata with another chocolate lipstick, made from her own disastrous chocolate recipe. Little did they know, this was a recipe for disaster. Kata takes the bait and plants a kiss on Rico's lips, only to be met with a taste so vile it nearly kills him. Quite literally, in a comical sense. Before we continue, take a moment to answer the question of the day What anime has the best character development? Comment down below for a chance to be shouted out. Now, back to the recap. As Kata immerses himself in his studies at school, Akko and Riko take a moment to reflect on their first year of junior high. It was a time of great change for them, their first taste of independence and freedom, but also the first time they were separated from their beloved brother. Meanwhile, their teacher, Yuzuki Kiryu, can't help but listen in on their conversation and can't help but wonder about the true nature of their relationship with Kata. After a long day of studying, Kata heads out to the local shrine and to his surprise, Runs into Akko and Riko, who are there praying for his success. Memories of his childhood come flooding back to him as he recalls the time when he used to wish to marry both his sisters. Sadly, his father had to break it to him that such a thing is illegal. With a heavy heart, Kata makes his own wish, and the three siblings return home together. While talking to his friends, Kata accidentally gropes his fellow student, Miharu Mikuni, and gets slapped. Akko and Riko become suspicious that Kata has been cheating. When Kata goes to study at the library, Miharu, who is a student librarian, 
becomes too intimidated by her proximity to Cater to go to the bathroom, believing that he will grope her if she takes her eyes off him. Cater chases after her as she tries to get to a washroom, intending to return a book she dropped, which looks like Miharu's student identification booklet, and ends up dragging her into various hiding spots to hide from Akko and Rico. Unfortunately, they end up getting locked in the gym storage room, and their hashed escape plan leads to Miharu relieving herself on Kata's back. They eventually manage to escape from the room, and Kata promises to keep the incident secret, though he gets beaten up when he accidentally sees that Miharu had removed her wet panties. One of Kata's friends, Toda, coaxes him into going to the pool with him and Mikazuki, and inviting Akko and Riko by handing him an erotic magazine. Suspicious of what they might be up to, Yuzuki decides to tail them, despite having a financial dilemma, since admission to the pool is costly. While trying to hide from them in the bathroom, she is found by Akko and Riko who, mistaking her for a peeping Tom, soak her with water. With her clothes soaked, Yuzuki borrows Kata's gym outfit. Later that night, Yuzuki becomes entranced by the manly smell of Kata's outfit and masturbates while wearing it and fantasizing about Kata. She wakes up the next day to find that his pants became soaked in the process. Oddly, Kata has a nightmare about his teacher doing stuff with him. As Kata tries to focus on his studies, Akko and Riko are constantly vying for his attention, each trying to outdo the other in terms of helpfulness. While Kata is alone in the room, Riko playfully starts touching his feet under the warm kotatsu, and he reciprocates. However, their intimate moment is cut short when Akko walks in, catching them in the act. Later, the sisters decide to find a good luck charm to help Kata with his studies. During their research, they stumble upon a charm made using pubic hair, which shocks and intrigues them. Despite some initial hesitation, they ultimately decide to pluck their own hairs to create the charm, which they give to Kata with a warning not to peek inside. However, curiosity gets the best of Kata, and he takes the charm to school with him, causing Akko and Rico to feel mortified and embarrassed. Before we continue, big shout out to Garth Whiteley who commented, Johan Liebert monster, when answering the question of the day on our jobless reincarnation video, thanks. As Kata falls ill just before his exams, Akko and Rico come to his aid, leaving school to nurse him back to health. Despite their efforts, the road to recovery proves challenging. Amidst their caring, the twins find themselves vying for Kata's attention, making it difficult for him to rest. Eventually, both sisters end up licking the sweat off Kata's body, unknowingly passing the cold to themselves. As Kata makes a full recovery, Yuzuki, who proctors the exams, is taken aback to find him present. With the exams underway, Akko and Riko reflect on how Kata supported them when they were in his shoes. Kata returns from his exams, grateful to the sleeping Akko and Riko. Kata eagerly awaits the results of his exams, anxiously pacing back and forth while Akko and Riko try to wish him good luck. Despite encountering several unlucky omens along the way to school, they remain optimistic. Finally, they arrive at the notice boards, only to find that Kata's number isn't listed. Disappointment sets in, and the trio becomes depressed. Just as they are about to leave, Yuzuki shows up with a few more numbers to put up on the board, including Kata's. The sight of his number listed among the successful candidates is a huge relief for Kata and his friends. Akko and Riko had even prepared some celebratory decorations, which they excitedly show to Kata. He cheers up and decides it's best not to waste the festive spirit. As the day comes to an end, Kata is visited by Miharu. Her dog had picked up Kata's mail containing his results from his mailbox. Kata's heart races as he reads the letter, hoping for the best. To his great joy, he learns that he had in fact passed the exams with flying colours. He can't contain his excitement and hugs Miharu in gratitude. After Kata's graduation, Akko and Riko arrive to find they were too late to get the second, much less any of the buttons, off of Kata's blazer. The second button on male uniform is over the heart and is supposed to be given to the girl he loves to confess his feelings. They decide, against Kata's will, to hold a draw for consolation prizes from Kata, with Akko, Riko, Mikazuki and Miharu as participants. The girls all write down their wishes, which are then randomly drawn. Akko's plan backfires and she ends up getting Kata's shirt collar. Mikazuki wins the opportunity for Kata to flip her skirt, though he is unaware that she isn't wearing any underwear. Riko wins a chance to kiss Kata in front of everyone, but is too embarrassed to do so. Miharu gets the remaining prize to spend five minutes alone with Kata in the equipment room and allow to do anything. Kata simply uses the time to thank Miharu, but after a slip up, they end up in a compromising position, 
leading Akko and Rico to assume the worst. Later that night, while Kata sleeps, Akko and Rico make a move on him, though this just gives Kata weird dreams. As he unconsciously grabs his jacket, the button he had been saving for them falls out and they decide to leave him alone for the night. As the new semester starts, Kata walks to high school hand in hand with Akko and Rico. The ending theme shows Kata welcomed by juniors on his first day. Kata's classmates also meet him. They start to rush in front of his sisters due to admiration. Miharu also feels embarrassed while Kata watches her. His homeroom teacher Yuzuki Kiryu enters the class and feels angry for Akko, Rico and Mikazuki in his class. She throws them out. Akko and Rico happily take Kata home after school. At home, Suminoe family enjoys dinner. The remaining part shows the siblings being kids, now growing up as teenagers. Akko and Rico have a final kiss with Kata as the story ends. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Go check out our channel for other awesome anime recaps just like this one.